Hello everyone, special to my listeners and viewers. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, we have another topic to teach to you and that is, or uh, this is related rates. So, some of you are know about related rates and others also are not. So, if you want or willing to know about related rates, so please stay watching with this video. So, what is related rates by the way? Related rates problems involves finding a rate at which a quantity changes by relating that quantity to other quantities whose rate of change are known. So it means related problems or related rates problems involve two or more variables that change at the same time. And it, it is possibly at different rates. So this, this is usual involves writing and equating relating the two variables and taking the derivative of the equation with respect to time. So now, we have to start with the examples. We have example number one. Consider a right triangle which is changing shape in following way. The horizontal league is increasing at the rate of 5 inches per minute and the vertical league is decreasing at the rate of 6 inches per minute. So the question is, at what rate is the hypotenuse changing when the horizontal leg is 12 inch or inches and the vertical leg is 9 inches? So first we have going to do is to draw a right triangle with legs label X and Y and hypotenuse label Z. And we assume that each edge is a function of time. So now let's draw a triangle. So assume the triangle is perfect so this will be the z the y and the x here so now the given here is dx over dt is equal to 5 inch per minute and the dy dt is equal to negative 6 inch per minute so now is to find the dz over dt when x is 12 inch and y is 9 inch. So that is not dx over dt but it is dz over dt. So correction. So now we have to use the Pythagorean theorem in which this is the process where we can get the equation. So we use the Pythagorean theorem, which is the x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. Now, differentiate this equation with, with respect to time by getting derivatives. The derivatives x squared plus y squared is equal to the derivative of z squared. Then, 2x dx over dt plus 2y dy over dt is equal to dz 2z dz over dt. So multiply both sides of the equation by one half. So x over x dx over dt plus y dy over dt is equal to z dz over dt so that is a differential equation or da so differential equation it contains derivative or the differential now let x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 9 and now we have to solve the z so we have to draw again the triangle so it seems like a perfect triangle so this will be the z the y which is 9 and the x which is 12 now by using the Pythagorean theorem we have the x x squared which is 12 right 12 squared plus 9 which is the y squared so it seem, so it become 9x squared is equal to z squared the answer is 
z squared is equal to 225. Since 12 times 12, 144 plus 9 times 9, 81. So, when we add them, it becomes 225. So, uh, the square root of 225 is 15. So, that's why our z here is 15. So, now we have to plug in all given rates and values to the equation dE or the differential equation. So, the, by using the differential equation, we must or we need to plug in all given rates and values. So, now, we have to use the differential equation which is x is equal to d x over dt plus y dy over dt equals z dy over dt so our x here is 12 here and dx over dt is 5 then our y is 9 so 9 is our y and negative 6 is our dy dt and our z here is 15 as what we have solved dz over dt and now 12 times 5 is equal to 6 60 and 9 times negative 6 is equal to negative 54 so 60 minus 54 is equal to 6 then 50 is equal to 15 dz over dt by using the additive inverse so 6 over 15 is equal to 2 over 5 inches per minute so why they get 2 over 5 because 6 divide 3 is 2 and 15 divide 3 is 5 so we divide 3 both sides and it becomes 2 over 5 inches per minute if you are new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment na naayon sa ating video. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. God bless everyone.